Okay guys, well it's a new day, but this is the lead in into this video, although most of it was shot two days ago. Um, I didn't, I, I recorded and and uh, published, uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, it was uh, the Saga Continues number six, which was most of what was shot two days ago. Um, however, I, um, when I started putting the video all together, it um, took up longer than I thought it was going to. So I've cut it all into two videos, and so this is the, the lead-in to the second video. And um, here in just a minute, what I've got to do is go over here, and I'm going to um, I'm going to drill the holes in the support arms for the keeper pins, um, hitch pins or hitch retainer pins is what they call them. And uh, so let me get the video camera turned over here where I can get it put on. Uh, like I say, most of this video was shot two days ago. And I went to go looking for the drill bits, is where this where it ended two days ago, but I could not find my drill the the drill bits that I wanted to use. So this morning, um, I went out and I bought a new drill bit. And here in just a minute, I'm going to take you over here. And I'm going to put it to work. Guys, so there we go. We are uh, got this thing all up on the trailer. It's not done. Um, had just a couple little things left to do and I'll get to that here in just a minute but I just want to show it to you it's up on the trailer um, this is what you know kind of start to look like something coming together here um, I've got the bolts run through it and the thing is pretty good and solid that's what I wanted uh, you know because there's gonna be a lot of stresses on this thing as far as wind and whatnot as traveling down the road and uh, so that's what I wanted to see was a good solid build here. And that's the reason why I put all the, the crosses in here is help give it some strength. And it's going to get additional strength once I put the aluminum siding, aluminum siding onto the thing. Now and we'll see. I mean we'll see here. Let me try to get a picture in there. We still got some good room on the spring there. Let's see if I can get a picture of the other side here. There we go. Here's around the see the opening for the uh, firebox here. Works just fine. Let's see if I can get a good picture over there of that spring. So we got some travel space in there. That's what I'm talking about. I think we're going to be good with this. I am. Somebody uh, keeps talking to me about the weight on the thing. I am going to uh, take it over to the scale over at the uh, probably the scrap uh, steel yard and put it on their scale so I know exactly what it does weigh. Now I will tell you though I can and did. Um, pick up the front of this and turn it around by myself and pull it. I can do it. It's not all that bad. So, anyway, let me get turned around, focus on my work here. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do. You're going to follow along, hopefully. So, I got my saw set up here. This is the overhang that I just built the other day. I got one little addition left to make on it. And then, uh, in addition to each one of these um, vertical risers here in the front. And then uh, another little manufacturing job. But I'm hoping to have this framing all done today. So let me get things shut off for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so the other day I set this up for cutting 45 degree angles. I need to go ahead and set it back up for a 90 degree angle. Here in just a minute, I'm going to cut a piece of uh, three quarter inch um, tubing. But in order to get this thing set properly, I'm going to go ahead and 
use a 90 degree angle on my square here. There. Tighten it down so it won't move on me. I need two one inch pieces. Okay, so I need two one inch pieces of this steel tubing. And this is steel tubing, and there's a difference between steel tubing and steel pipe. The diameters are not the same. This uh, three quarter inch steel tubing, the interior diameter of this tubing is perfect for sticking a half inch um, steel round round bar they call it in there for making hinges as you can see there I got enough to make a few more hinges um, now those dudes are a little on the warm side okay so what I've got here in my bag of tricks in here this is a three quarter inch black pipe cap and uh, what you're going to see here is a cap typically is used for like uh, gas pipe that kind of stuff in houses and uh, I've got a three quarter this is a three quarter inch piece of black pipe and it screws right on there like that but what I wanted to show you here look at the difference these are both three quarter inch, supposedly. And if you take this and you measure across from outside to outside, it is three quarter, it is three quarter, there you go, three quarters of an inch across. But I was telling you on a, on a couple clips ago how pipe and tube are way different. And this is three-quarter inch pipe. I'm going to mark off three inches on each side and I'm going to cut it. That piece there is crap. What I want is these threaded ends. I'm going to knock the edge off of these as well, just like I did on the other one. I'm not terribly concerned about how tight these are, other than the fact that I just don't want them vibrating over there. What these are going to be for is I'm working on building the supports for this framing for the uh, well for the uh, flip up part of the canopy and those are going to be I'll show you where those go here in a little bit so for now I can put away my saw on some of these tools I'll be back with you in a few minutes Okay, so this is my frame on for the uh, flip out. And what I'm going to do, I'm making these two supports for to support this flip out in its extended position. So basically, what I want to do is come down halfway on this, which is uh, 20 inches, which is right there, and then I'm going to add. 
three eighths of an inch. Because of the diameter of the uh, tubing there. And that should make half of it on each side of the 20 inch. Remember if I just I just measured it a moment ago that that tubing is three quarter of a three quarters of an inch diameter. Here we are, 20 and 3 eighths. I want to put that right there, like that. Let me get my welder set up and going here. I'm going to be honest. One thing I got to be careful, had to be careful of here is that make sure that I put this on the on the correct side of this frame. If I put it on the if I put it on the other side, it's going to be the part that should be getting the uh, aluminum skin on and uh, that's not going to work. And what dictates that is the tubing over here for the hinge and where it's located for the hinge for the swing out there. Okay, I got a little tack in there. should be done with. I'm going to get a couple hits on this other side real quick. Got to get my uh, grinder set up. Cognizant of, but my hinges are down at the other end now. So 20 and 3 eighths. There's that stupid ground messing again. too fast for the wire feet on uh, the welder and so what happens is um, I got this big old gap between the round of the of the um, round tubing there where it comes together where it comes together with the flat of the square tubing and so it gives a really deep crevice in there to fill And so the thing is, I could solve the problem by turning up the wire feed speed a little bit. Or like that, I can just travel a little slower. Okay, so this actual framing is complete. Go over here and stick it off back onto the trailer real quick. All right, don't laugh at me too hard attempting to do this by myself. It's a lot easier to take off by myself than it is to put it back on by myself. Okay, 
That is uh, pretty much the height. I want to want have it that. I'm kind of I'm using the uh, pan of metal down there to help put a stop on it. Okay, so I've got this hooked up. I'm going to show you what I did up here. Uh, let me get this off the stand real quick. I'll take you up here. Okay, so there's my black pipe. And I've got it all I've got it held by this magnet and supported on the outer end with the other magnet there keep it from falling down in the front. So, now then, that's going to allow me to put a bar between this opening and that opening. That's the, that's the plan. So, let me go put this back on the stand. We'll be right with you. All right, guys, as I know it right now, that's the very last weld on this, on this build. All right, so I measured just now from the outside of the, of, of the, ramp, uh, the uh, steel tubing on, on the swing out frame what I believe is the bottom out on there into the into the uh, cap on the black pipe at 31 and an eighth on both of them, which is that's excellent. So I want to add six and a half inches. It would be 37 and five eighths. Let's plug it in. Yeah. 
these are going to be my actual support arms. cut these off because I can always cut more off which I plan on doing before this is over so I'm gonna try I'm gonna dry fit these up here just to make sure I've got things lined up properly they better be <laughs> okay so now the goal is to bend this at a 90 degree angle Use my oxyacetylene torch here. one. I'm going to quench that real quick with those so somebody doesn't get branded with it. All right, so now I got to do, do that all over again. I'm going to find my mark here. if I was looking at the right piece. Okay, time to go quench that one. And that's that with that. The torch that is. Done with that. come off here in just a minute but there we go on the other side same thing 
I tested it out, and they're about, you know, they, they bought them out, both of them are bottomed out, or it's not cattywampus or anything like that. So exactly as I wanted it. So I'm satisfied, by the way. Those were right here and right there. As I know it right now, those were my final welds on this build. That doesn't mean I'm done working on it, but holy cow. Um, it's been right out of a year that I've been working on this. Now I'll grant you, I didn't do a lot of work in the middle of the winter, um, but I started on this a year ago in July and that was to build a smoker. And then it just kind of more kept morphing as I went along. There was no plans on this. All the plans were in my head. Um, so my next, my next mission here is to get these cut off. Get this overhang cut off on these there. And then uh, see if I can't drill a hole through them so I can put one of those pins through it. So that's where we're at. And I'm gonna shut this off for a minute while I get those back out of there and get them down and see if we can't get these cut and go from there. Okay, so I got those cut off. Now comes the fun part of trying to hit a round ball with a round bat. In other words, I'm trying to put a starter hole through this the punch so I can get my so I can get my uh, drill bit started. my drill bits from for my drill I'll be right back okay guys so here are these uh, support arms that I whacked on with the hammer the other day I'm gonna put a little drop of oil on these because I found that a little oil now this is uh this is actually thread cutting oil here and it works just fine for drilling purposes as well normally thread cutting oil is used for uh, machines that thread the pipe like that um, three quarter inch black pipe I used to go with. Soil not only helps it cut better, it also extends the life of your uh, drill bit. There's one. Immediately after you put some oil on this, you can see a difference in how well it cuts. Okay, so let me go get my pins here, and we'll see if we can uh, stick one through there and show you what we're gonna, how it's going to work. Okay, so I got these pins at Harbor Freight. They cost me a few bucks, but I mean, uh, I mean, very few bucks actually. And figure out how to open the thing. That'll be a lot. There you go. So, it comes with a great assortment of these things. There you go. It's going to work perfectly. Oh, 
one thing you'll notice today, I'm wearing shorts. And that's because as of right now, I don't see myself needing to use my drill or grinder today. I'm getting ready to, uh, as soon as I finish this off, I'm getting ready to start in on the next video, which is gonna be the painting. Uh, sand, sanding or grinding and painting and, and all that good stuff. There's that one all cleaned up. Gotta be careful when you fool around with this kind of stuff. And not just this. All the grinding and painting I've been doing, I have ended up with plenty of steel splinters in my hands. It just kind of goes with the territory. But they let you know you're, they let you know that they're that they are there. Okay, so let's get this turned around. So we will go with it. Alright, I kinda gotta figure out which one goes where. And I believe it's like this. Alright, one. Too far ahead of myself. Maybe like this. Maybe tilt it back a little bit. Like so. I think. Whoops. Didn't know I was zoomed in. If I can get a good shot of that for you. I don't know if it's focusing good or not. Heard of seeing this this LED screen. Um, oh, I'm not on it. There you go. Screw it. I'll just walk up there with it. There we go. There you see. So that's going to allow me to uh, drive down the road. And I have to worry about these uh, support arms falling out while I'm driving down the road. So. I'm going to drop this down and lift up the uh, work surface here and I'll show you what I was talking about. Um, things are going to be different than I showed you the other day. Okay, because of my adding these support arms, this no longer lays flush because of, uh, let's see, the support arms there getting into the way, preventing the 
preventing it from closing all the way. So I do have to I do have to make another couple welds. I am going to make another couple welds. Uh, I told you I was going to make some dog ears like this up here on this. Um, and what I think that I'm going to do is actually go from the overhang here this direction and weld the dog ears here over and drill through and uh, go at it that way. So, at any rate, what that's going to do is prevent air from getting up in here during travel and this thing just flapping back and forth like that. So that's going to, I will get to a little welding. I don't know if I'll get to that today. i got some other things to work on right now. So, this is the end of this video. And, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button. And follow along. Thanks for watching.